Okay, these days, too many kids hit the books in college but can't get a job when they get out. Well, there is a school in Charleston, South Carolina, with a perfect record for placing its graduates in jobs, and it's doing it by offering a traditional education and teaching old school trades. This is a college classroom. So is this. And this too. All a part of a unique school called American College of the Building Arts. What we graduate here is what I like to call an educated artisan. The college combines trade education with liberal arts and is the only one of its kind in the nation. Other trade schools, they just teach you how to build something hands-on while this school covers all aspects of it. They incorporate history, English, math into your trade. Students graduate with bachelor's degrees. They leave as modern-day artisans with expertise in trades like ironwork, timber framing, and complex plaster work, skills not found often in this country. With my degree, I can not only speak with architects, designers, as well as general contractors, because I understand everybody's lingo. Not a lot of colleges can say this, but even as late as this year, every single one of our students who graduated walked right straight into a job. Of course, it helps that the student body is so small. There were only seven students in the inaugural graduating class of 2009. This year's freshman class boasts 17. The school, like most college educations, isn't cheap. Tuition runs nearly $20,000. For that money, it's as hands-on as an education can get. And for many of the students here, that's the appeal. I really love, at the end of the day, being able to look up here at the ceiling and go, this is what I did today, this is what I accomplished. The school's main campus is as unique as the curriculum. It's an old jail built in 1802 and designed in part by Robert Mills, considered to be the first American-trained architect who went on to design the Washington Monument. The building has barely been converted. Iron bars are everywhere, and classrooms still have the feel of a holding cell. Relics stand side by side with new projects in progress. Our students actually come to love this building. It's a, it's a living laboratory. Uh, they do a lot of work in here. A lot of hard physical work and the students wouldn't have it any other way. I used to go to school for computer engineering. I went from the very high tech to the old school techniques that were really dying out and now I can't see myself doing anything else. We're artisans. And they are doing some good that. work, huh? That doing is some so really, great. really good work. The school wants to expand to 150 to 200 students in the future. And for the kids that don't work out as artisans, they can always be parole officers or prison guards. Nice. <laughs> it is a great facility, though. Isn't it amazing it's to have beautiful. all those bars everywhere like that? I mean, it's really to be, cool to be in and of itself.